Hey, Cody Raw with Tech for Psych. So in my last video, I talked about energy management and how our neurological system within our minds and our bodies is a conduit for this energy that flows through us, it allows us to move, allows us to think, allows us to concentrate. And I mentioned that diet is a super important thing that helps you get energy during the day. And I actually had a question on my previous video about what my diet actually is. I think it's actually a good time to go over my diet because it has evolved over time as I've gone from uh, hunting wild game animals in Alaska to being a weightlifter that did bodybuilding competitions and now being a physician. As you can imagine, it has developed over time. So I think it's actually, again, a good time to go over some practical steps on what I do eat and also show you how to make things like a green shake that will not only make you look good, but actually make you feel good as well. So as I mentioned, I was really fortunate to grow up in Alaska. My father was a big game hunter, he still is. I remember going on moose hunts when I was like seven years old, so I really grew up with that. And looking back, I do realize how uh, good it was that I did those things. Not only was it good exercise, it really taught me a lot about living off the land and um, being in the wilderness. And looking back and understanding now how good that diet was is really important too. So the reason why those wild game animals were actually really good for me it's because when you look at animals, the nutrients that they pick up off the environment actually really helps with the tissues that they get. So if you think about grocery stores, right? If you think about where you get your beef, people are concerned whether uh, they get their beef from cows that are grazing on an open field or actually being fed, fed grains. Now the difference is the fat content within their tissues. Um, so if you have a cow that has been grazing on grains, it's gonna have a lot of bad ratios of fats, which is going to get incorporated into your tissues. They actually have bad inflammatory markers that actually create inflammation within your body as well. Now a really good example of this is salmon. People always talk about the health benefits of salmon and how salmon have very high omega-3 fatty acids within their tissues that prevent cardiovascular disease, metabolic disease, and even neuropsychiatric disease like depression and anxiety. Now, if you're eating salmon and you think that you're getting those nutritional benefits, be careful. You have to make sure that the salmon are coming from the wild and not from a farm, a fish farm, because the fish that are growing up in the wild are intaking, they're eating plankton, they're eating different crustaceans, they're eating other fishes, and that's how they build up that healthy level of omega-3 fatty acids. Now, if they grew up in a fish farm, they're being fed grains, grains like corn, and they simply do not fill up those levels of fatty acids within their tissues. So again, I was really fortunate to grow up in Alaska. We would hunt moose, we would hunt caribou, we would hunt mountain sheep in the, uh, called doll sheep in the mountains, and we kept all the meat that we got, put them in the freezer, uh, ate it throughout the winter. My mother was an amazing cook. She would make everything you can think of. Uh, using that meat like tacos, burgers, spaghetti, and we really lived off that, and I think that it really helped our development. Now, moving on into my adolescent years, uh, I got into weightlifting and bodybuilding. What basically happened is I got cut from the hockey team. I got all mad and uh, <laughs> wanted to put on a bunch of muscle, and in doing that, I got into bodybuilding because bodybuilding was actually a pretty big thing in Alaska. Uh, you would train all winter, and then you do competitions in the spring. And my high school had actually put on bodybuilding competitions, so that's how I got into that. So I was coming from a good basis of uh, healthy, lean protein, but I needed to learn more about carbohydrates. And that's when I started reading a lot of bodybuilding magazines and learning how to manage my carbohydrates. Now the tenets of bodybuilding is that when you are dieting down, so you build up the muscle during the winter, and you diet down during the spring to uh, have a very low body fat percentage so that when you're on stage, everybody can see what you have to show, right? So the name of the game there is eating complex carbohydrates. The complex carbohydrates that are the bodybuilding staple include brown rice, yams, oatmeal, and a couple of other things like granola that you can incorporate into your diet. And basically what you're doing is preventing your blood sugar from spiking. Because if you eat those carbohydrates, the molecular structure of those carbohydrates actually break down slower within your body, which keeps your blood sugar from spiking high. When your blood sugar spikes high, like when you eat a piece of bread or a donut or any 
table sugar, anything like that, the excess energy gets shuttled to uh, fat stores within your body. So what you're doing is eating those car complex carbohydrates so that when you do your cardio, you go into a catabolic state which burns off the excess fat. And over uh, about six to eight weeks, you can really lose a lot of uh, excess fat, especially if you're an uh, athletic muscular individual and you're doing your cardio right. So I had that staple of lean protein and understood my carbohydrates well so that I could change the way that my body looked. Uh, I could go up in weight, I could go down in weight, but what I wanted to do when I got into residency training as a physician was actually feel better and I had some good influences of people that were drinking green shakes. I had a mentor uh, named Oli Tocoletto, who's a good friend of mine, who actually has 400,000 views on his YouTube video about his green shakes. And we would talk and he showed me his method for making these green shakes. Now the good thing about these green shakes is that again, the nutrients that you take in into your tissues is what makes you you, right? So I can change my protein content and my carbohydrate content to change how I look, but vegetables are the most nutrient rich foods on this earth and when you eat a lot of vegetables it really gives you a lot of those good tissues so that you reduce inflammation in your body you have more energy you feel better <clears throat> all these health benefits from doing that and if you drink a green shake first thing in the morning you're really uh, setting yourself up for success very early in the morning so what I want to do now is take you into my kitchen and show you how to, how to make these green shakes um, I really believe in this because I used to get sick like four or five times a year and what happened is that once I started doing the green shakes, I noticed that I wasn't getting sick anymore. Uh, I think in the past year I've gotten sick once and in the past 12 months I know for sure I, ha I haven't gotten sick at all. And that's really when I started kicking up this habit of drinking the green shakes. So I really think it boosts the immune system, reduces inflammation in the body. And also if you start looking into what these nutrients do for you, basically what happened is I started getting older. Um, I'm still in my 20s, but at least within this past decade, I've seen enough to see people age differently just within their 20s. And you start realizing that the better that you start taking care of yourself, the younger that you're gonna look, the less sick you're gonna get. And doing things like this green shake actually rebuilds and rejuvenates your tissues, your skin, your hair, everything that makes you you gets revamped, revitalized by having a good diet like this. And that's really why I advocate this, not only to feel better, but to look better and to prevent things like cancer and any other ailments that could bring you down in life. So we're back in my kitchen. Now I usually make these green shakes at night so that in the morning I can pick them up really quickly. It prevents me from actually skipping making them. Um, when I do my morning routine, for instance, I go down, uh, do cardio, and then I do my meditation. Um, of course, do shower and all that kind of stuff. And then I can just pick up the green shake out of the fridge and then jet off to work. Now, what we'll cover first is the equipment. So I started off with the, the Ninja here, and this runs for about $100. And this got me off to a really good start. It's a great blender. It will definitely make your green shakes. You can get great nutrition from using this blender. Um, the only thing is sometimes it comes out a little chunky. So when I was starting to do the green shakes, I noticed that uh, when I would be drinking it, sometimes if I didn't um, make it thin enough, it could be thick and when it gets thick it gets chunky so I'd be like drinking the green shake and then every once in a while kind of have to like chew the vegetables because uh, it was again just a little bit chunky. Now uh, if you get more experience with this and I hope you do and build up the habit of doing these green shakes you might consider making an investment in your blender. Um, this is the Vitamix Professional 500 series and it's quite expensive it's $550 but I'll tell you that the quality of the shakes is amazing and will really make you want to keep with that habit of doing the green shakes every morning and getting that nutrition. And the good thing about this blender is Vitamix is an incredible company. They give you a seven year warranty. No matter what happens to this blender, it's an investment of that amount of money for seven years and it makes really, really good high quality green shakes. So I've moved the Ninja out of the way to show you the other equipment. Um, so what I use is the Vitamix blender. And then a uh, really important, important part of this is these glass jars by Ball. Now the reason why I use glass jars, and this was uh, recommended to me by Dr. Tocoletto, my good friend, is that what you want to do is reduce the difficulty of doing this because the less difficult it is to do, the more likely that you will make it a habit 
and actually carry through with it every day. And the reason why I use these is because of the, the wide mouth and the glass is really easy to clean. So uh, once you're done with the green shake, you can easily just get hot water, clean it out, gets all the vegetable matter out of there, and it's really not too difficult to manage. Now, uh, another crucial piece is this um, Rubbermaid uh, where you keep the vegetables in. And I got this from um, just regular home department store. Uh, this actually keeps your vegetables really uh, fresh, which is a good thing. Um, will make you want to eat the green shakes more if you keep your vegetables fresh. Now that we've gone over the equipment, we can talk about the actual foods that I'm putting in my shake. Now, my uh, recipe has evolved a little bit over time, and that has to do with the nutrition of the food and uh, also what combinations I actually like and feel like taste the best. Uh, what we're gonna do today is uh, start with kale. This is kale, a very, very high nutritional quality vegetable, and we'll talk about why that is in a second. Um, broccoli, which is a superstar among vegetables. Uh, one avocado, uh, two apples, and also a bag of frozen berries, which is very healthy, especially the blueberries. We'll talk about that in a sec. Now, I usually start with the greens first, so I take the kale, and what you want to do is peel off the leaf from the stem, because the stem has a lot of um, acid in it. It'll make it a little bit more acidic. Uh, so what you want to do is get the leaf part, which has a lot of nutrition, and just pack it down into the blender like this. So lightly press down the vegetables until it's about halfway full in the blender, and then I start putting in uh, the broccoli stalk. So I'll put in about uh, half a broccoli stem in this shake. And again, I'm taking the leafy part um, not including the uh, stem, which typically has a lot of uh, acidic nature to it, which will like not make your shake taste all that good. Now what I'm going to do is cut the fruit. So I usually take an apple and I just cut it in half like this. Do wedges. Usually the easiest way to do this. <laughs> Put them in the blender. I usually take a little bite just for a little snack while I'm making my shake. Now avocados, you want to be careful with. When you get them from the store, obviously the darker they are, the more ripe they are. And you want to get about this color so that um, it's soft, so it's not too, uh, too hard. And what I do is I, uh, there's a pit in the middle of it. I cut in the middle, I rotate it like this, break it apart. You can see the pit in the middle of the avocado. What I do is I just take it over to the, the blender here and I squeeze it out. That's the easiest way to get the, the avocado. Last thing I put in is the mixed berries. I just put that in on, on top here. I just put in about a cup. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, fill up the water. So I'm gonna fill up to about an inch from the top of the, uh, of the blender. Now that we got all the fruits and vegetables in there, I almost forgot the flaxseed. I'm gonna put some flaxseed powder on top of this uh, for more omega-3s. And I'm just gonna cover that, put it on the blender. So now that we've got everything on there, let's just talk about the nutritional quality before I blend it up. First, you've got the kale. Now, the reason why people love kale is because it's got a very high rating on what's called the oxygen radical absorbance capacity. So when you're digesting food, what happens is you get these toxic chemicals that get released in your body called free radicals. And the reason why vegetables are so healthy is because they actually clean those things up, which prevents aging, which helps prevent cancer, helps prevent any other illnesses, and that's why people love vegetables so much. And uh, kale is very high on that scale. The next highest is spinach. For example, kale has a, a rating of uh, 1770, whereas uh, spinach has a scale of 1260 when it comes to the oxygen radical absorbance capacity. Now, broccoli, next up, is considered vegetable royalty. Um, it also has a whole lot of anti-cancer properties called phytochemicals. Avocado is great um, because it has high ratio of omega-9 fatty acids, which are very healthy that prevent cardiovascular disease. And actually, I just love avocados, and they make the shake very creamy and delicious. So it's almost even more uh, about texture with avocados. It's still got some health benefits, but the texture really helps with making the shake just delicious. Now, we also put in apples, which are, which are huge. They've got things called flavonoids, which reduce a lot of different cancers. 
And apples actually have this element in their skin called boron, which helps with bone health and prevents arthritis. Now we put in mixed berries, and I'm just gonna talk about blueberries, but they are champions. They call them memory protecting food because they have such high antioxidant and anti-inflammatory uh, properties. They did this experiment with rats that were giving blueberry extract, and it actually uh, prolonged the amount of time it, it took them to develop Alzheimer's disease. So uh, great brain food in there too. Also I put in the flax seed, which has even higher omega-3 content, which again, is helping prevent cardiovascular disease, metabolic disease, and other neuropsychiatric ailments such as depression and anxiety. So let's blend that up, it's really loud. As you can see, the Vitamix pulverized that whole concoction, and now you just have a delicious liquid of nutrients that's gonna keep you young, healthy, help you have energy during the day, help you have focus and concentration and do everything that you need to be successful in this world. <laughs> Trust me, it's delicious. Mmm, Cody Roll Tech Recyc. Let me know if you have any questions. Until next time.